Hello everyone. So, I recently saw this movie. Uh, the one you see here. Um, now, if you want to see this, and, uh, you have plans to watch it, just be warned, there's spoilers. Uh, don't watch it unless you see the movie. Uh, because a lot of this, what I'm going to say, is pretty much going to spoil the movie. So, what's interesting about the, uh, the Red Turtle is that there's very few voice acting. Like, most of the movie is completely silent. There's no real talk. There's no people talking to each other. There's no voice acting. Very rarely... When you hear someone talk to each other, I mean, occasionally they'll yell out, you know, hey, and grunt and groan, and other things like that, and, uh, what the movie is about is this man, we don't know his name, and he's washed out in the sea, and we don't know where he came from except from probably a ship, and he gets to this island uh and upon arriving to this island he finds it's completely barren like there's no other people on this island and he f happens to find like a a dead body like not even an actual body it's just someone who had been washed ashore before him and all that's left is like little bits and pieces and it's been blackened over time. It's just laying there in the shape of a person. And you can tell it was a person at some point in time because the shape is very human in a way. So the man runs all over the island and he sees something with like this bamboo forest and he sees like very few creatures and uh, he goes up onto this mountain, and there's, he calls out, and he's, he's just all alone, right? And here's what's confusing about this movie. So he goes, he builds a raft to go out to sea, and every time he goes out to sea, his raft gets destroyed by an unknown creature. So he ends up back in the island. Well, about the third time he tries... He sees a giant red turtle, and the turtle destroys his raft. And I'm sitting there thinking, watching this, like, why won't the turtle let him leave? What's Why is it preventing him from leaving? And the turtle, for some reason, does this, and it's been doing it, like, three times. And it's like, why? Why is this turtle preventing him from leaving the island. It's like, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And then, uh, and then he, he sees the turtle come up on the shore. And he goes down there and he takes a bamboo, like a piece of bamboo, and he strikes the turtle, and then he, and then he turns the turtle over onto its back, and the turtle's dead. Now, he's regret, he's building us another raft in order to leave again, cause the turtle's dead. And you know the turtle's dead because it's just laying there and it's grayed out and there's no color anymore. And he starts having regrets. And then after this, things get kind of weird. The turtle turns into a woman, the one you see on his right. And with the red hair. And it's like, uh, and then she comes back to life as a woman, and it's like, okay, what the heck? <laughs> That's kind of weird. And he himself, you see the man look at, at what he's seeing, and he's like, you know, confused what's going on. And then he and the turtle, the woman now, have a son, and the son grows up on the island, and he spends his time with his parents, and then eventually he, his parents show him how to, uh, how to live and talk to him and stuff like that, and they play with him, and they show him, like, pictures, like, of what he remembers. And he's drawing, like, towns and cities and people and, 
elephants and other animals in the sun. And then a woman goes and she starts drawing and she starts drawing like turtles. Because that's all she knows is turtles. It's like she all she knows is the sea. So she starts drawing like turtles and fish and other things. And eventually the son gets older to where he's like 18 probably. Maybe 17. Uh, they don't really specify his age. And he goes, and he's like, he's like, he goes out to the sea, and he keeps having the sea call to him, and he gets his urge to go out into the ocean. And he's ignoring it. And then this event happens, like this woman and, and the dad are out on this, uh, this barrier reef, and they're collecting clams. And what's, here's what's stupid. It's like, you can see what's happening, what's going to happen, and it's like, all the ocean starts pulling away from the shore, and then all the seagulls in the air are going crazy, and then it's like, okay, what's going on? And I'm thinking to myself, oh, this isn't good, this is a tsunami, and it's like, they're so stupid. That they're just standing there on the on the little reef, just watching it, and it's like, run! Why aren't you running, stupid? And eventually they do, and the son survives the tsunami, uh, being encased in the bamboo, and he goes and tries to find his parents, and he finds his he thinks he's alone, so he finds his mom first, who somehow survived, which is strange that she survived but she got washed up onto the island and she injured her leg and then the son goes and, and searches the island and there's nothing else there so he leaves his mom on the island alone and it's like what the heck what is he doing and he goes out into the sea and the turtles he made friends with like these three turtles take him out into the ocean and they swim like miles and miles and miles and somehow by some miracle they find his dad just floating in the water hanging on to bamboo and I'm like no way no way would they find him that's impossible he would be so dead so they take him after finding his dad and they bring him back to the island and a couple days pass, they start clearing up the island, and they make this giant bonfire. And you're thinking, well, maybe, maybe some ship, some something is gonna see all that smoke and come to the island. Maybe somehow they get discovered. And the sun wanders around, and things are starting to come back to life. And uh, so he says goodbye to his parents. He goes to his parents one night. And he tells him goodbye. He goes out to the shore, like the little outcrop, little thing. And he goes out to the sea. And he swims away with the three turtles. And it's like, we never see him again. And it's like, well, where did he go? What is he doing? Did he turn into a turtle? It's like, okay, what the hell? So he disappears. And we never see him again. He's gone. And then we go back to the man and woman, and they continue to live on this island, and they never have another kid. It's like, well, they could have had another kid if they wanted to, but they didn't. And it's like, okay, how does that make sense? At least they could have had another kid. And instead, they, like, live the rest of their lives on the island. And the man, one day, uh, dies, right? So the man, the, the man, uh, dies and he passes away and the woman's sitting there and it's like she's crying because he's dead and she knows he's dead and she's older now too and she has this gray hair and they're both older and they're probably 80s 90s something like that and it's like you know he dies and it's like okay well that's sad that's sad that he dies what the heck and she goes and she touches his hands and she turns back into a turtle and then she goes out into the sea and returns to the sea and the movie ends and it's like what? 
that's how the movie ends, and it's like you expect, you expect something else to happen. I actually kind of expect it, like, uh, somehow, you know, he was swimming, they showed, like, one instance before all this happened, of him and her swimming out in the ocean as if they were turtles, like, they were doing, like, swimming like a turtle, and it's like, uh, okay, and, and then he dies, and she turns back into a red turtle, and it's like, and then she leaves him there, dead on the beach, to rot, and whatever, and goes back into the ocean to live as she was, and, and he, the only reason she stayed was because of him, because she didn't, he was lonely, and he was sad, and he didn't have anyone, and that's why she stayed as a human, and it's like, and it's like, I kind of expected it to go a different way, like, I expected, like, they're older, I expected the ending to be different, I expected that they're older, like, this is how, what I was thinking was going to happen. They're older now. They have, you know, they're getting older. I kind of expected, like, him and her are standing on the beach, like the outcrop. And then she takes him into the ocean and turns into a red turtle. And she's holding his hand as a red turtle. And she turns and she faces him. And together, they swim out into the sea. Because I expect that, like, you know, maybe he won't be a turtle, but she takes him out to sea with her as if she was, if, it, if he was a turtle. And together, they go out to sea, you know, and they live their lives in the ocean again, you know, and maybe some magic, some weird thing happens and he turns into a turtle too. I mean,. It could have ended differently. Like, they could have went to the ocean together, like, he and her, as a turtle. Like, maybe somehow, since she turned into a woman, and then she turned back into a turtle, that because of that, that somehow he could turn into a turtle and go with her. It's like, that's not what happens. It's like, oh, he's human. He could, He's always been human. And his son was a human and part turtle. And it's like... And she was always the turtle, and it was like, okay. <laughs> and then she turns back to her normal self, and it's like, that's it? <laughs> we never see the sun again. We never know what happened to him. And there's so many unknown things of what happens. And it's like, well, dude, what the heck? But yeah, overall, I mean, the movie is really good, and it's really, really pretty. And the scenery is gorgeous. Like, it looks all hand-drawn, hand-watercolored. And some of the scenes are just so pretty and so gorgeous. And there's no voice acting. And what I mean, like like I said earlier, there's no voice acting to this. There's just music. And you see the music and you see what's going on, what's happening in the movie. And it's like... uh. It's different. My mom, my mom was so bored by it that she, she's like, wow, this movie is really boring. And saying how boring the movie was. And she said, she compared it to like the lobster. And I don't know if you've ever seen the lobster. I don't suggest watching it because it's one of the worst movies you could see. And it's like, she compared it to like the lobster. Point two zero, like a second lobster. I was like, that's not at all what this movie was. This is not like the lobster. The lobster was just horribly depressing, and it was so s bad. Like the story of the lobster was so bad and so boring and so stupid that nothing that happened in the lobster made sense. This made more sense than the lobster to me because it was so pretty. And the little crabs, the little crabs that we see uh, right here um, are so cute in the movie. They're so funny. And uh, one instance when the little boy's like a baby, he's walking on the beach and he takes the crab and he 
he reaches down into the hole and he pulls the crab out and he puts the crab in his mouth and then he spits the crab out and then walks away like he crawls away and then the crab is kind of sitting there like <laughs> like he's completely stunned and bamboozled as to what the hell just happened he tries to crawl back into his hole and then gets eaten by a seagull and it's like aww that poor crab it's so sad and it's like that kind of stuff and what's interesting too is they never show them eating like they very rarely show them eating anything like they show them that they have fruit to eat and it shows that they have fish and squid so they're eating seafood like they're eating food from the ocean and they're eating fruit and they're eating other things that they find and they obviously know how to start fires because they make that giant bonfire and it's like you know it's like there's so many things that you're questioning watching this movie like it's like wow and I don't know it's it's different it's it's unusual if you want to watch it for yourself I suggest watching it for yourself and making your own dialogue you know and you know it's beautiful it's a different film it's not like other films we see today and that's what I liked about it I mean it's not like the best movie I've ever seen uh, but it was good so yeah um that's all I have to say about it I didn't really like how it ended I liked how pretty it was and, and the music was really pretty and the story was really nice but I don't know. I kind of expected it to end a different way of him and her becoming turtles and going back into the ocean. You know, like somehow, some way, he turns into a turtle and goes with her into the ocean, and that's not what happens. It's like, well, okay, whatever. But you have to feel bad for the guy. It's like he's stuck on this island. He's alone. There's no one else there but him. So. I don't know, maybe she felt bad for him and stayed because she didn't want him to be lonely. And, I don't know. It was, it was good. But yeah, that's all I have to say about the film. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I don't do this a lot. Uh, but yeah. Uh, just something I want more people to be aware of to see this film because, uh, yeah, it's, it's an unusual movie. It's a Studio Ghibli. And it's some other people who did the film, and, uh, yeah, it's different. It's unusual. Uh, so, yeah, that's all I have to say, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in whatever else I make, okay?